In this Pit of E tutorial I will show you how to crop, resize and reposition video clips. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Pit of e. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well I've brought these two clips into Pit of e. And all I'm going to do is just drag this one into track 1 and I'll just drag the size up a bit so I can see what I'm doing. And then if you've never used Pit of E before, if you want to bring another track in or another video in below, what you do is you drag the video until you see a blue line. So as you can see there's a blue line flashing up. The minute it flashes up, the video will go below. So I'm going to just snap this to the beginning and then drag this edge here to snap so they're both the same. So if you drag this it will just snap up to the length of this one. So I'm going to select this clip and I'm going to just drag it over so it's out of the way and go back to the beginning again. So to, just to resize um, a video or crop it with a sort of a border around the edge, um, one way you can do this is if you open up in the clip box here, you've got transition title, you've got clip. If you just left click on the little arrow next to transformation, you'll need to make sure, sorry I've gone wrong now because this one was selected, so I should have selected this one. So back to the beginning. Now this is the one I'm working with. Now you can change the sizes here, you can muck around with the width if you want. So if you want to do squash this video up you could change the uh, width by reducing it. But all I'm going to do for this uh, tutorial is you can change things with these dots here. So these will actually change the shape if you like. But if you go to the corner and then make sure you the arrow flashes up, not the uh, pointer. Hold down your left mouse button, you can actually do a crop like this and then reposition by holding down your left mouse button. But in this instance, I'm going to actually go in the other direction. So I just want to scale this up a bit. And then you can, as I said before, you can sort of hold your middle mouse button down here and reposition your video to suit what you're trying to do. So that's that video. Now in this one, I'm just going to drag it into so it's in line with uh, the first frame. Making sure that it's selected. You'll know it's selected because these um, keyframe markers will show. You'll need to go into your effects library. Now, one of the problems, make sure all effects is showing. One of the problems is there's so many effects, it's difficult to find. So what I would do in the search box, type the word scale. And what you're looking for is scale o trim. Hold the left mouse button down and drag this onto the video clip. And this effects box will come up here. And now all you can do is I want to trim this side here and this side here. So I've got left side. Now you can drag this over this little button here till you get the right position that you're looking for. So I want it just to be, I don't know, let's adjust it using this minus. That will do for this tutorial. And then I'm going to do the right hand side drag this over so we're in line here so that's cropped this here and your transform should be showing so again I'm going to place my pointer in the corner or my left mouse button down and just drag this slowly so that it reduces in size and then reposition by holding my left mouse button down you may have to do this carefully And I think I'll resize this again a little bit more. Anyway, you get the picture. This is how you do it. 
So that's basically all there is to it. The only other thing with the audio, if for instance I wanted, let's say I wanted to cool the audio on this particular video, making sure that you identify the audio track. If you hold your pointer over, this is where you sort of set up keyframes and adjust the audio, but if you just roughly around the middle, you can just drag the audio down to zero or increase it if you want. And again, you could do the same for this one. Um, and that's basically all there is to it. You will find that it does flick through the frames when you're trying to muck around here. Um, that's it really. Won't go into rendering. Like I said at the beginning, um, I assumed you got some knowledge. Uh, so thank you for watching. Cheers.